The other week I made this uh, kind of plant cultivation unit here, making use of an existing IKEA product, but with my own lighting inside. Now one of the uh, comments I received from that video was on the choice of lights. So the WS2812 NeoPixel LEDs I was using had a fairly narrow range of light. The kind of the frequency was a little bit too tight, which meant that the plants weren't getting the, the range of light they needed to kind of grow properly. So what I did after that was locate a slightly broader spectrum set of lights, just static lights rather than kind of programmable lights, and I've switched it out for those. So in the bottom tray here that sits underneath, I've got the same kind of teensy controller as before, uh, backup battery in here. I'm now feeding the whole thing with 12 volts rather than 5. A couple of benefits here. So the LEDs I've chosen, they all run on 12 volts, so that feeds directly into there. It's also kind of going to be lower current consumption, being a higher voltage, which is also good. And so to get the 5 volts needed for the teensy, I've got an additional regulator over here. In the middle is a really cheap kind of uh, relay controller that takes a digital signal from the Teensy and switches the lights on and off. So it is really, really, really simple. Again, the Teensy here is here for the timed switching and hopefully some kind of irrigation control in the near future. Now the lights being used are, I think they're kind of called a wide spectrum or full spectrum kind of plant grow lights and it consists of a kind of a mix of blue and red LEDs. Now these are, I'm using a few more LEDs than before, and they are generating a fair amount of heat at the moment. They are backed onto the metal top here, so that does sink away most of it, but it still runs a lot warmer than I'd like. So I'm toying with the idea of kind of eliminating the odd one or two of these strips just to reduce the amount of kind of power. So this was a simple improvement. Uh, not the fancy one I was hoping to make next with the irrigation control, but one that makes this thing a whole lot more useful in terms of it can actually uh, cultivate plants properly.